This video is sponsored by Elgato, even though I bought most of this stuff myself because I really like their products. These days, every console has a share button. If you press this button on the Xbox One or the PS4, you can stream your gameplay directly to Twitch or YouTube. If you press this button on the Nintendo Switch, most of the time, it does absolutely nothing. But when it does work, you can take a screenshot or record a 30 second video clip in stunning 720p. So not exactly ideal. If you want to stream gameplay from your Nintendo Switch or really create content using gameplay from your Nintendo Switch at all, you're going to need a capture card and you're probably going to be getting the Elgato HD60S because it's the best one on the market for exactly what you want to do. Elgato has pretty much cornered the market on streaming equipment. So if you wanna start getting into streaming, you're going to end up with some of their products. Most of this video is going to be about the HD 60S and how it works with the Nintendo Switch. But later on, I'm gonna be showing my setup and what I use to stream. So stay tuned for that. Full disclosure, I've been using the original HD 60 for years now and it's done its job fantastically but Elgato sent me the new HD 60 S for this video. So thank you for that. If you guys are thinking about getting a capture card now that the HD 60 S is out, definitely go for the S. They don't even make the original one anymore. And even the refurbished versions of that are only a little bit cheaper than the HD 60 S. So make sure you're getting the right one. They look almost identical. The S is way faster than the previous version. It's USB 3.0, which allows for much lower latency. They call it instant game view, which means what's happening on your TV will match up with what's happening on your computer. Anybody who's been watching my streams for a while knows that I used to start off every stream with a clap to make sure my audio was in sync. I used to have to delay all of my stream assets to line up with the gameplay on screen. We also used to plug a camera directly into the old HD 60 for Wolf Den Live, requiring us to delay the audio there too. You know, in hindsight, it probably would have been worth it to just upgrade to the S much sooner than we did. The Elgato HD 60 S can record at a full 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is the highest possible frame rate and resolution that a Nintendo Switch can do. So look no further. You, this is all that you need. My favorite part about this capture card is that it works on Windows and Mac. Barely any capture cards work on Mac. I use this on Mac all the time to capture gameplay footage while I'm editing my videos. The HD 60 S takes the feed from between your switch and your TV or monitor. You take the HDMI cable from your Switch and plug it directly into the Elgato's in port. Then you use another HDMI cable to go from the out port to your TV or monitor. It's that simple. The HD 60 S then connects to your computer via USB. It's pretty good at handling low powered computers, but make sure your computer is beefy enough to stream with. You need at least a quad core i5 in there. So low spec MacBooks aren't gonna fly. So this is only a dual core i5, but it seems to be working just fine at 720p. So, and I have used this laptop to stream with the old Elgato before in the past. So I'm gonna do that with this too, Shh, don't tell them. If you really want to, you could eliminate the TV altogether and just use the HD 60S to play games on your computer because of that instant game view that we talked about earlier. It's not no latency gameplay. It's low latency. So this is really good to have and a major improvement over the original version. If I'm just capturing footage real quick, I don't have to switch inputs on my monitor and I can leave my editing software open. But you'd probably want to pass that feed off to an extra monitor if you're serious about response time. Every frame counts when you're a competitive Fortnite player on the Nintendo Switch. I know that competitive scene's bumping. The HD 60S also captures audio over HDMI. And I know what you're thinking. Duh, of course it captures audio, but so many people will leave an audio cable plugged into the Nintendo Switch or they'll use USB headsets and wonder why there's no audio being captured. If you do that, you're cutting off audio at the source and no audio will travel through the HDMI cable and then your precious little HD 60 S won't be able to hear that audio. If you wanna hear the game audio yourself while you're playing, make sure that you're hearing it after the audio has already made it 
to your TV or monitor. So plug headphones into your TV or monitor or just use your normal speakers. This is really important also and a problem that's very specific to the Nintendo Switch. When you're capturing your gameplay footage in your software of choice, make sure you go into the video settings, make sure that it's recording in 1080p 60 frames per second, of course, but also go to the color range and make sure that that is set to expanded. For some reason, most capture software and even some TVs or monitors default to standard color range. The Nintendo Switch looks weirdly washed out in standard mode. Flip that over to expanded to capture the full range of colors that the Nintendo Switch outputs. As far as software goes, the Elgato game capture software is actually pretty great. If you're on Mac, I think that's the only thing that you should use because all of the other options are trash. On Windows, you have way more options, but if this is your first rodeo, I think that the Elgato software is probably the best thing for you. It's the easiest way to get a stream going from nothing. It's probably also the best way to capture footage because your footage isn't gonna be processed through an additional software. So what else would I recommend for a Nintendo Switch stream? Well, you need a mic so that people can actually hear you. If you're looking to spend some money, I think the Blue Yeti is a fantastic entry-level USB mic. It gets a lot of crap for some reason, but the quality to cost ratio is pretty fantastic. A webcam isn't a necessity, but could help make your stream a little more personable. The Logitech C920 is surprisingly good for a cheap webcam. Not even a Logitech themselves have been able to replicate it in their newer models. And that's it. That's all that you need. Now you have an entry-level streaming setup using the Elgato HD60S and the Elgato Game Capture software. But what if you want something a little bit less PewDiePie and a little bit more professional? Look, the guy has 100 million subscribers, but he could stream on a Cybergo and people would watch. All right, so this is way overkill, but I figured you guys would probably be interested in this as well. I'm not using the old HD60 anymore. I'm actually using the internal 4K60 graphics card that Elgato has for my Nintendo Switch footage. Do not buy that. I only have that in case I need to capture footage from an Xbox One X or a PS4 Pro. It is way too overkill for a Nintendo Switch. My webcam, boop, is a Panasonic G7 plugged into an Elgato cam link. The G7 might not be the best camera for this because it doesn't autofocus unless you're recording to the SD card, but I don't really need it to autofocus, and I got it from a buddy for really cheap, so it gets the job done. Now, it might look like there's nothing behind me, but a little movie magic for you. There's an Elgato uh, green screen panel that's keyed out using the software that I'm using. I can also switch between scenes here at the press of a button because I'm using the Elgato Stream Deck. Oh no. All of this stuff I bought on my own dime, except for the Stream Deck, which uh, was gifted to me by Grimhane, who watches the streams all the time. So thank you, Grimhane. Like I said before, Elgato has cornered the market on streaming equipment. They just make the best stuff for video game streaming. A lot of other companies that make HDMI capture cards view them as just general AV equipment. But Elgato saw the needs of this very niche gaming entertainment market and started to fill it out. The only thing that I wish that I had was better lighting in here. Luckily, Elgato just released very thin LED panels for exactly this purpose. Other than Elgato equipment, I use this Audio-Technica AT2035 microphone. I use this for everything. You see it in all my videos. I have it plugged into a Roland Rubix 24 USB interface, which I like because it has a compressor built into it. That way I can cut out any slight room noise without adding any software effects. The streaming software that I use is OBS Studio. It's very versatile for designing scene layouts. This background is just a royalty-free video that I downloaded and modified so that the colors were a little bit better and I made it a really low bit rate so it wasn't too CPU intensive. This marquee at the bottom that changes every so often is just another video that I made in After Effects. 
And the rest of these overlays, like the chat and my alerts, are from Streamlabs. I highly recommend Streamlabs, even if you're just starting out streaming. Streamlabs will notify you every time a viewer subscribes or follows or donates or whatever. And it even works with the Elgato software. So even if you're just starting out, you should definitely have some sort of stream alert so it can help you better engage with your audience more. I got a lot of questions about this in my last video, and I think this is a good opportunity to get this out of the way now, but one of the biggest hurdles in streaming is audio. And I know this sounds really stupid, but how the hell do I listen to my gameplay from the Nintendo Switch and stuff coming from my computer like a Google Hangout or a Discord call at the same time. Luckily, the HD60S is fast enough so you can just listen to your game sounds coming from your computer. Problem solved, everything's coming out of your computer. Just plug your headphones into your computer. But I didn't have the HD60S until just now. So what I do, because I'm a psychopath, is that I use a cheap analog mixer. I take the audio signal from my Nintendo Switch via my monitor and I feed that into one channel on the mixer. Then I take the audio signal from my PC and feed that into the second channel on the mixer. Then I have my speakers plugged into the output of my mixer. If I want to use headphones, I just plug them into the speakers. With this setup, the speakers output audio from whatever video game console I'm using and the audio from my computer all at the same time. When it's time to stream, I just plug my headphones in. Again, it's important to note that you cannot plug an audio cable into the headphone jack on the Nintendo Switch, and you cannot use a USB headset on the Nintendo Switch. Your Elgato, Elgato will not be able to capture audio that way. If this is your first time streaming, you definitely don't need anything this crazy. Don't overcomplicate things for yourself. All this stuff was slowly built up over many years. I used to stream from the share button on the PS4. So don't drop all of the cash right away to get to this point. Get the HD60S, use whatever headset or mic you already have, and start the stream you've been wanting to start. Or even if you want to start editing gameplay for YouTube, you're still gonna need this guy. So anyway, that's how I stream from the Nintendo Switch and how you can too. And if you have any questions, I highly recommend just going over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash wolfden and asking me there. I'll answer you in real time. I'm probably live right now. Or you can always just leave it in the comments below, at me on Twitter or any and all this other social media garbage. We got new videos and live streams all the time on YouTube and on Twitch. Our schedule's usually in a pinned tweet over on our Twitter. We got Wolf Den Live here every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you support us here on YouTube or going over to Twitch with Twitch Prime, you can get into our supporter-only Discord account if you link your accounts. And that way you get videos like this one early, you get private chat time with us, and you get priority when we play games together once a month. But as always, the most important thing that you can do, you don't have to do any of that, is just subscribe to the channel, that's it. And share this video with a friend, a friend that you think needs to get that stream started that he's been talking about this whole time. Thank you guys very much. You have yourself a very good week.